Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Today's my motherfucking birthday, motherfucker. <sighs> Good God, I apologize if I seem a little bit irritated. This is the millionth fucking time I've done this video, but I want to say what's going on, guys. I'm back in the building. I know a lot of you are saying, well, this is the 18th time, dumbass, welcome. And there's a lot of explanations or reasons behind this. Some of you, if you follow me on Twitter, you would know exactly what was going on. I've been doing this whole live streaming prep thing, and it's been busting my balls every single second of the last two weeks, endlessly trying to learn these programs. But finally, I have. Now, as you saw, today's my birthday, but it's not really going to be celebrated too much because there's a lot of stuff that's been happening over the past two weeks. Let me go into some explanations for that. Now, the live streaming thing was all well and good when I first started, but when I tried to stream GTA 5, it was a train wreck, absolute shit show. So there was no way in hell I was going to be able to live stream that game without upgrading my gear, without upgrading my knowledge, of OBS and XSplit. I use both of those programs now. I'm a master at this shit, thank God. It took me two weeks of not uploading and just focusing straight on learning those programs in the first place that made me learn them in the first, oh. But like I said, there was a lot of gear that needed to be upgraded. My audio was shit. My, my monitor setup was shit. I had to buy two more monitors. And thank God, thank God, God, that I have such amazing, understanding, and level-headed friends that are willing to help me out in some crazy situations. Some of you may see the nice apartment and say to yourselves, oh man, Attica's got it made. This man must be making bank every month, you know, to afford an apartment like this. But think about it in this form, you know? If you, let's say for instance, and these are not actual numbers, these are just numbers I'm pulling out of my head. Let's say for instance, someone makes $5,000 and they live at their mom's apartment, then they're obviously not gonna be spending as much of that 5,000 on, you know, home things like rents and utilities, but factor those things in and suddenly that 5K a month is not looking so strong. So at the end of the day here, even though I do have this nice place, there are a lot of expenses that come with it. And ones that, to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting. I did not expect to be spending almost $3,000 in gear for streaming. And I have to get good at live streaming because it's the only way that I'm gonna be able to post gameplay videos without getting burnt out by subscribers and being able to utilize Twitch and YouTube live streaming in the future as well too, to be able to interact with fans and do a lot more stuff that's on a more personal level with you guys. It was essential. There was no way in hell that I could just skim by. And some of you who have been at my live streams have seen how bad they can be sometimes. I had to spend the money to upgrade that gear and I had to spend the time learning how to use it. And that's what these last two weeks have been guys. But that's not not all. No, no, but wait, there's more. There's more. Two days ago, right, my camera decided to fuck itself. And you see, this is the DSLR that I've been using for the last two years, over two years on my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel with this DSLR. This is the Canon Rebel T4i. And you know what happened two days ago? It fucked itself. I've been saying this on Twitter, so if you follow me there, you would have seen all the updates that I posted about this. But this camera literally fucked itself the last two days, and suddenly it has overheating problems now. It can't read memory cards. A whole plethora of issues now plague this camera. So I can no longer use it. So not only did I have to go and buy a ton of equipment that made me broke as hell Like I'm absolutely fucking broke right now. Like it's, it's not even fucking funny But then I had to fucking buy a new camera on top of it all and they don't make mine anymore Like the T4i I was saying maybe I could just you know cheap out and get a T4i or because I can't get used cameras because they come with issues themselves. Used electronics are something that I can't gamble with because if it comes with a problem that's already there or it could be potentially closer to problems than one that would be new and fresh out the box because overheating is an issue with electronics these days. But anyways, as I was saying, when it comes to the cameras, they don't make the T4i anymore. So I had to buy the latest top of the line model in terms of the Rebel series, the T6S. And that went for $1,200, man. And then, not only that, but the T6S is incompatible with all the accessories of the T4i and the Rebel line beforehand. So I had to buy totally new accessories, batteries, packs, all that for the T6S. And that cost me almost $1,500. So thank God, thank God, I have some friends that were willing to help me out a little bit who said, all right, I got you, man. Don't worry about it. You guys know who you are. I'm totally broke now. The money's absolutely gone. But I mean, at least I have the camera now that you're watching me on because I was totally fucked. With this thing not working anymore, I was absolutely fucked. And I'm just so glad that I have friends. So, I mean, I guess I can consider it an early birthday present, you know? I mean, I, I really do appreciate it to the guys who did help me out. Thank you. I mean, there was only two of them, really. But I mean, still, 
you saved my dick. I don't know what I would do because I did not factor in that extra $1,500 that would have to be spent. That was my food. But I mean, whatever the case may be, um, we're moving onward. This fucking window. Enough. So now some of you are wondering most likely what does this mean for me your channel is back now your live streaming is perfected from what you say How is this going to impact me as a viewer in the future? And this my friends is where a lot of my focus is going because my entire thing is making sure that I have a good rapport with you guys I don't know if it's just me that's been feeling this way lately But I feel like I've been out of touch with my viewers the most I ever have been my YouTube channel Just came out of the most successful month in its entire existence with almost seven no no over seven million views views gained in the last 30 days for April and yet I feel like I haven't really been there there's been so many things that have been requested on my channel you guys want so much stuff that I promise to deliver but I haven't been able to for multiple reasons M multiple reasons either me not having the space to do so or uh, the roommate issue or then on top of it all me not having the gear to be able to do things efficiently gameplay is a main thing you guys have been wanting and I haven't been able to do gameplay because I've been redoing the way I do gameplay thanks to the subscriber burn and I figured I would just stream it I don't want to do the gameplay beforehand so some of you are saying, oh, well, you know, you didn't have to get all that gear. You don't need all that fancy gear to do the gameplay. I do. I do. My channel is focused on first impressions and quality of presentation. And if the presentation ain't there, then I ain't there. That's the main thing I want to focus on. So that's the reason why the gameplay took so long to come out. But now that the streaming thing is down packed, you guys are going to be seeing constant gameplay videos of the games that you want to see on a regular basis. Fire Emblem, um, Grand Theft Auto, anything that I used to play game-wise, I'm going to be doing so from now on. Thanks to me learning how to stream on this goddamn machine. Thank God. And not only that, man, there's been a lot of other things that you guys have wanted, too. I promised you an MLG parody segment. I promised you the 100,000 subscriber specials with the Cooking with Etika and the shirt story, which, by the way, I'll go into more details about the shirt story later because I did not think that I would have hit 100,000 subscribers that fast. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Why is it purple? What the fuck is going on here, man? And that's not the only thing that I'm supposed to have going on as well, too. I'm supposed to be bringing you guys a series that I'm doing, special series with TGN, the network that I'm partnered with. Some of you may have seen on Twitter once more. And by the way, if you're not following me on Twitter by, by now, if you're not following me on Twitter by now, but you like keeping up with me and learning what I do, then make yourself a Twitter account and go follow me because you'll see everything that I'm doing. I'm usually really personable with you guys on there, so definitely go there. But TGN has been saving my ass in so many ways and been doing so much to help me and my channel out. And we plan a series together but thanks to all these hardware complications and all this bullshit that's been happening with me trying to get my gear in check and get my skills in check with the streaming stuff it hasn't come out yet it's something that I've been working on and I want to see this thing progress forward but there's no way in hell that I would have put that out before the stuff that you guys have been requesting for months that I've been promising you guys I'm gonna give you this I'm gonna give you that I've seen what you do when I post content that's not the stuff that you've been asking for for a while you rip my asshole apart and I, I, I applaud you for doing so I would do so as well too with a content creator that promised something for months on end and still continues to promise it to present day but doesn't deliver so I'm not upset at you guys I'm upset because I just have to record this goddamn video a trillion times in a row and rather than act all nice and friendly oh yeah it's my birthday hey guys I'm so happy and everything I'm fucking frustrated right now but that doesn't change the fact that I'm glad to be back in the game and to emphasize that I'm back in the game today there will be a live stream going on where I'll be answering any questions that you guys have going on over at my twitch page go there and check it out go and read the comments that I you know respond to and what I don't know what the fuck's going on just go down to the twitch page I probably will be live streaming by the time you see this video if not I'll make a video on YouTube updating you of when I actually am live streaming so you can come by and hang out with your boy for his birthday. Yeah, man, let's hang out for my birthday. It's a, it's a, it's a frustrating birthday with this damn, with this damn camp because, you know, I, I'm dealing with the loud sounds of the outside and then the lighting is bad and all, oh my God, man. But anyways, there's going to be a stream going on later on today, so definitely come through. It's going to be a lot of fun. We can celebrate my birthday together in style. Shout out to Retro Gaijin. Shout out to Strong Bad. Strong Bad, one of the granddaddies of Project M. A good friend of mine for years. Who would have guessed we both go into Smash Brothers coming off of Sonic the Hedgehog, you know? Sonic Stadium for life. Anyways, um, and Retro Gaijin, this man, there's so many people that have been saving my balls over the past few days. I don't want to call them out because, you know, that would be kind of... Weird, but I mean, you guys who have been saving my balls know exactly who the fuck you are. Shout out to you.
thank you, and I got you. I got you, all right? But right now, I'm happy to finally say this YouTube channel is now in streaming order. Everything is going to be streamlined, it's gonna be real pretty, gonna have nice graphics and transitions and intros, logos, everything. It's gonna be it's gonna be every person out there who likes watching content creators wet fantasies. It'll be awesome. And I thank you guys for tuning in this video and sticking with me throughout all my frustration of having to be broke as fuck with this whole oh my god man I had to buy oh 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 and that's not it that's not it oh fuck You want to know what that was? That was my old camera. That was my old camera. Look at look. I was so fucking look. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Look at this. What the fuck am I doing? I just dropped my old goddamn camera. God fucking damn it. Well, it's already fucked up anyway. So I mean, it's not like I. It was already fucked up. Don't worry, I mean, I know it's kind of crazy, I just fucking dropped the DSLR that at one point was over a thousand dollars, but it's, a, it's fucked up now. Um, <laughs> the thing I was referencing is that my camera wasn't the only thing that had a massive hardware failure over the last two weeks, um, or rather two days. My mouse. This is the Cyborg Rat 9. You guys may have saw me do an unboxing video of this before. It decided to fuck itself as well too, but here's the thing. It cost $150, over $150, and it now no longer works. It fucked itself up the ass, but no worries. I had a backup, you know, I don't, you know, see, your boy's smart. I knew that if in case that thing goes to hell, I have a backup mouse to be able to work after it fails. Well, the backup fucked itself too. The goddamn backup, I plugged the thing in. I start to use it, next thing you know, it gets all fucking jerky and everything, and now the battery won't even turn on on this thing. The Cyborg Rat 9 is a steaming pile of shit, and I'm sorry I had to waste over $300 on these two gaming mice to be able to look badass on my table, on my setup there, to be able to be effective as hell with multiple buttons to help streaming, to help with video editing and all that, and they fucked themselves up the ass. I'm trying not to get my neighbors to call the police on me here. I apologize if I'm really pissed off right now, but I feel like this is the best way for me to get over this. By venting. Thank you for hearing me out. Come to the birthday celebration live stream. It'll be really fun. Because I need a way to get my mind off of these stupid mice. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Come through to the live stream, take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. We are back in the building, baby. Let's fucking go. <sighs> oh, fucking good. <sighs> My fucking dick. My fucking dick.